What is going on guys? Fort Misery Gaming here to bring you another video for leaks on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And today we're talking about the JP game and finally, finally, finally Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue gets his own Dokkan event where we thought back a couple weeks ago when JP had Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Goku and the physical... Uh, rage trunks that he was going to get the event he did not but he finally is getting it and so the old versions of vegeta will all receive a dokkan awakening that is the original physical agility and strength one the only one that didn't get a dokkan awaken is obviously the new one i believe because he already did get a dokkan awaken which was the rebirth and then he all and then the uh passive nuker did not get a dokkan awakening so that is the tech vegeta but so anyway we this is what the new agl vegeta is going to look like um, just to pull on your screen, so he's gonna go to those are his max stats at level 120. So 8344 attack, 8016 HP, 4900 defense, and the added link he gets is going to be prepared for battle and fierce battle, and he's gonna get an increase on his passive by 20%. So that's what that one is. So then we're gonna move on into, and we'll go, we'll do a thorough analyze of the abilities um, in a second here. Thanks to the subreddit, of course, for bringing us all the awesome information. Then next we have the physical Vegeta here. Um, these are his max stats, 9205, 7544, 5128. So pretty, pretty beefy. He's a lot higher on the defense range. Um, and just so you know, all the, I'm pretty, I'm 99% sure that most of the abilities here for Lynx goes are all the same across the board. Whereas like they get prepared for battle and fierce battle and they keep all the other stuff like Resurrection of F, Super God Combat, Warrior Gods, Super Saiyan, um, all that stuff. Um, and I believe Prodigies for Vegeta. So the difference here actually, so his, his leader ability goes up by 3%. So you get 33% just like the other nukers with their reverse and or uh, Dokkan Awakens. And then also he actually gets attack and defense of 20% with his orb change ability. So that's pretty significant. That's a lot higher than what uh, Goku got um, for his uh, Dokkan Awaken. Uh, he only got 20% attack. So that's pretty awesome. So that is the physical Vegeta. Then we move on. You're going to come in a minute, buddy. <laughs> then we move on to the STR Vegeta. He's pretty much a carbon copy of Goku. He's literally the same thing. He goes to 100% attack increase. Um, he has a little bit less attack than Goku, a little bit more defense. But yeah, that's pretty much it. He does, And all these cards do go to a Supreme Multiplier. So they are a Supreme Multiplier. No longer extreme, finally, for Vegeta. So... So that's that, and then obviously first battle and uh, prepared for battle um, for the STR version, and I think that's okay. And this is the so all right. Let's see if we let's try refreshing this here. Uh, see if this will actually work for us. Uh, is it gonna work? Okay, we have some volume here. All right, there we go. So here, guys, is the uh, video of showing showcasing the new Int Vegeta. So this is the demigod for intelligence. So, and I don't know why they're nuking here. None of his abil his ability has nothing to do with nuking whatsoever. Uh, his passive ability is so I got this wrong when I read it on, when I read it on Reddit originally. I thought it was decrease all extreme type allies, but it's actually decrease all extreme type enemies by 20% attack and defense. So he's like an Omega Shenron and like a Goku Rose Black kind of in one not as quite as good as omega but it's pretty awesome and he only does it to extreme types so but a lot of the enemies you fight are extreme types obviously so he's a very awesome unit he decreases attack and defense on their part and then he also gives himself always a hundred percent attack increase so i wasn't too thrilled with his um his super animation personally but hey it is what it is so that's what uh that's what the super attack looks like and now let's get into the card itself so this is what he looks like um, in all his glory. So this is the super attack, or the, uh, the sorry, <laughs> the demigod intelligence leader for, uh, for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So you can see there, stats are significantly higher than all the other Vegetas. He's, al he's almost got the 9500 in an attack realm and HP, and defense still moderately high. So he's pretty good. So let's go into all the particulars on these cards. Thanks, of course, to the subreddit for bringing us all the awesome information. So the leader ability on the blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Agility Vegeta, gives all types uh, attack and defense up 30%. It's I, 
don't know think you'd ever use that unless you have no other option to be honest but passive is attacking defense up 80 percent on both stats so that's pretty cool so you got a 20 percent increase which makes sense because all the other ones did too goku went from 80 to 100 the str we see down there goes from 80 to 100 as well um and then those are the links so as we said all the links stayed the same except he added fierce battle and prepared for battle and that's pretty much the same across the board here uh 100 they're all supreme modifiers and they all it looks like they all have the exact same link set so then we move into the intelligence vegeta and i he gets his are very a little bit he has super saiyan saiyan warrior race warrior gods prodigies the vegeta family and prepare for battle so he does have that vegeta family link which mean it is kind of cool because trunks is also intelligence so they will share actual three key with each other as opposed to just prepare for battle so because they do share that vegeta family link um and then and then fierce battle obviously and that's pretty much it there um and we already really talked about his passive where he get, gets uh lowers the attack and defense of extreme type enemy so there is not a drawback for using my mono intelligence you can run him on the buhan team he's not going to lower your buhan or your jenna or whoever else you might be running with him android 13 it's only to the enemy so that is good and of course he has the 100 percent attack upgrade so he's honestly just a better ver he's a way better version than of cell so that's that's real awesome um he does get an immense damage multiplier and he also gets to erase his attack for three turns so that that is really cool as well it's just like uh ultimate gohan physical does so that's really awesome so overall i think he's a, he's a really awesome card he's a very con it sounds like he's a very consistent unit um obviously with intelligence you also have a lot of orb changers so you don't have to rely on that prepared for battle link obviously you could use um i think that all around like the trunks is the only one that really screams at me that you would run alongside of him but um oh there is and there is the super saiyan so you might want to run the super saiyan goku maybe it takes the place of android 13 maybe i'm not sure I guess I don't play JP, so I haven't done any testing, and obviously no one has yet because the cards don't come out until Friday. But that's that's pretty much what we have going on. And then I briefly did want to talk about so the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is the is the thing of how people are going to experiment. I have a feeling over the next week or so using him alongside Super Saiyan Blue Goku as opposed to Kaioken for the Mono AGL teams. Now I did the math, and unless my math is completely wrong, it's just completely possible. When it broke down, um, this Vegeta had around 20, or this uh, Goku, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku had around 27, around 27,000 attack. Um, after you include his links and his passive, this we're not including leader abilities um, from like Super Vegito or Kaioken leader or something like that. Uh, it's around 27,000, but still Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku had 37,000, almost 38,000 attack. So, um... I don't know if, like I said, if my math is wrong, guys, please comment. That is, please comment in the section down below and let me know if uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku's attack is higher. Of course, I am not counting the dupe system. I am purely going off of links and um, and their passives. So, but still, as on paper, it seems Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken still does have more attack power. Now, granted, Blue Goku will have more consistency in long-term fights because his ability does not wear off on a turn restriction so that's the debate which do you guys prefer do you guys prefer super saiyan blue goku with the new vegeta dokkan awaken or do you still go to our man kaioken definitely want to hear your uh, thoughts in the comment section below and really interested to see in jp of how this how these new cards are going to match up in the current meta what they have really really interested to see the gameplay with this vegeta um with the intelligence demigod i really am interested to see uh, what his damage output is going to be on the buhan team or even on a mono heroes team so he can be run on both for sure it's a great unit on both setups so anyway guys that's going to be the video hope you guys enjoy it for today and we'll see you guys in the next one have fun everyone later